Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. Now we've got three issues, yes you heard it right, three issues of Diagostini's Build the X-Wing. Now you know what, today was a struggle for me because I thought, now I don't want to do another Terminator, we've done that this week. I want to do a Spitfire but that's probably going to be out tomorrow. Um, I really, really, really want to get onto pack two or trial two of the Eddie Stobar build. And once again, thank you to Neil Collins for providing this for me. I've also got a big shout out to Marky Mark, the uh, Kraken uh, uh, expert who uh, provided me with the Kraken that you see in the in the uh, in the streams that I'm doing. Uh, he actually sent me two pack ones. This is Mark Smith, um, which um, I received these just after receiving Neil's. So we're probably going to do a giveaway of this, but I really do appreciate that, Mark. So thanks a lot. I think what we'll do is we'll do something on the live stream tonight. But then I'm looking over at my side here and I'm thinking, you know what? We've got three issues of the X-Wing to do right up to issue 15. I made a complete mare of it last Tuesday. If you haven't seen that live stream, I'll put it up there. <laughs> it just went from bad to worse. But as you can see, look, it's all in. It's all looking lovely. All the pipes are still there. Um, so I thought, you know what? What we'll do is we'll finish this off. And uh, that way, when we start afresh with issue 51, I think actually we're starting the fourth wing now anyway, then uh, it just shows we're getting on with it. Plus, I've got nothing over here now. I've got an empty desk, which is absolutely lovely. But uh, let's show you what we're doing. Okay, I think I'll show you just a magazine at a time. We're going to be doing issue 48 first. And what we're going to be doing is just taking these two pieces here and pretty much completing the engine. They're all pushed to fit. We're going to be attaching the uh, laser cannon as well. So I believe that means that that wing is now complete. That's wing three. Uh, in the next issue, which again on the X-Wing, they only show you in a little box here. It just says uh, the laser cannon components, which means we're starting wing four. I think that's the problem with this build is that the uh, we're definitely monotonous this will be the fourth time we do the wing which is partly the reason why i'm compacting them all together into one video god i just noticed i was a bit loud then i've turned the volume down i don't know why that was <laughs> but uh look let, without further ado let's get cracking on issue 48 and then i'll come back to issue 49 when we're ready for it okay so the first things we're going to do is we're going to be putting some trim just around each side of the engine here this is the first bit i've got at the moment which has got a notch on this section you've got all of these bits standing up they're just going to go into the three lug holes that we can see here so i'll line that up get that all the way in there and then push that into place simples we're going to do the same on the other side now this time you've got a notch on this side which is just going to house the wire that's coming out there so I'm just gonna move the wire over so that that notch can go in there just like that and then we'll push this section down as well just like that you see that pretty much hides the rest of those details you could have saw in that engine so uh, yep yeah, they've gone <laughs> Now the fun section, we're going to be attaching the laser cannon. Obviously, we've got this little uh, electric component here, which we're going to be wanting to put through this way. The laser cannon actually faces towards the flat end, just so you know, of the uh, X-Wing here. So I'm going to poke this through, just like this. Attach it to the plug on the other side there. And then push that back into the recess that it came from. And then I'm going to attach the cannon just into these holes at the bottom here. I'm going to locate them. And once they are located in there, we're going to be screwing this in with XWO2 screws, which uh, do come in this pack. I've got them here. And I'll get the first one in just down the middle. That will hold that all in for me. Then I can let that go now. And we'll do the other two. One this side, and finally just the one at the back there. There we go, that's in. I'm just going to put this wire back in where it goes, and then we're going to clip this back in here just to keep that in one place. There we go, so that looks just like that. And then we're just going to close all this off by putting this plate on. This plate has got lug holes here, which are actually just going to seat themselves in all the holes that we can see here. So I'll put that on and gently push this into place. And there you go, once that's done, that looks just like that. And that is another completed wing. And just for size, look, 
put it on me there it's big isn't it <laughs> but there you go and look all those details that we did here i think we are just going to be uh just seeing those pipes there but that's pretty much it so uh that was issue 48 now issue 49 very simple we've done this before we're going to be making the last cannon all the parts for this are in here so we'll get them open and see how quick we can actually assemble this okay here we go this should be fun this is speed build time so we're going to be taking this section here putting that down the laser cannon on this side pushing it home quite a tight fit this one but that fits in just like that then we're going to be putting the section over the top that's going to link these together once again quite a tight fit so i'm just going very gentle on this I'm putting it all the way down so that's in like that then we've got this tiny detail just down the bottom there looking like that we need to put that into the hole that we can see there again no gluing it just pushes in it's not going to fall out at all now that section is just going to go as you can see you've got a long lug there and a uh, short one's just going to go on here just like that put that into place and then that's just going to leave these two sections here the cannon and that section there that's all there is to do in issue 49 not a lot huh now you can see why i'm batching these together so last one issue 50 as you can see we're working still on the cannon here we've done this three times before that's why i'm showing the instructions and there's no instructions on the screen for this one uh, but we're going to be just making the cannon section putting it all together so that at the end we're going to have it looks like there's a lot to do one completed cannon and we will give that a check as well just to make sure that's okay now i do believe that this is probably going to have let me just check the uh inventory here a little clear bit yes it has so whatever you do don't lose that tiny clear bit there when you open the packet okay i've zoomed up the camera a bit on top because there's quite a lot of fiddly stuff here first of all we need to push the led that comes in this just into the end of the cannon when we do that we need to make sure it does go all the way through if you need help pushing it in use a tool because you don't want this bulb coming out here but as you can see i've pushed that as far as it goes it should hold itself in there looking like that then we just want to connect these pieces here now we want this lug to be closest to the end of the cannon there so i'm just going to put this in making sure we're not pinching the wire that's one side just lining up the other side here just like that and then push that together so it looks like that and then quite simply all we do is we just match this up and push that home so now that is one complete section now we're going to take this section here get the wire all the way through here so it comes out the other side and then again we've got sort of like a keyhole pattern there that we can actually push this together again when i'm pushing all these parts together i'm being very gentle that i'm not hang on a second Ah, that's in i'm not pushing down on this led because we want to, we want that to be staying out right there now we're going to be wanting to put this section in but we want this uh, wire here to go into the recess there when we push this in so we push that in like that and as you can see the wire is now coming out the side like that then we've got some more cannon components looking like this quite simply all we're doing is pushing these together again no glue so that looks like that and then the other end of this is just going to go into the end that we've been creating and then we just need to bring over the part from the last issue because we're going to be putting the cannon into this section here now they do suggest painting this but as i said for all the other cannons i've done i'm not going to be painting this section here i do love the red glow that comes through there uh, when we do this so quite simply we've got two lug holes there or two lugs sorry that are going to go into these holes here one and two push that down and there we go that's that cannon sitting in there as you see holds itself in no problems then we're going to be putting the top on now as you see we've got a notch in the side that's where the wire is going to be at, coming out of so that we're not pinching that wire at all and push that together just like that in the end here we've got a great big i like to call it an optic fiber it's doing the same job as an optic fiber it's very flexible though but that's going to push in here all the way up to the bulb that we've got in there we are going to hold all of this together at the back just with this part here so this isn't going to open now let's put that back in again then we're going to be putting the engine section on here so we've got to thread that all the way through around to the other side here and again it's got a d-shaped pattern so it can only go in one way just like that making sure that these pipes here go into the two holes that are on that black section 
Uh, mine did that absolutely instantly. <laughs> this optic fiber keeps falling out. It's not a problem. Just make sure that it does go into the hole it's meant to. Then we're going to thread the cannon through. So that's going to go on like this, all the way down the optic fiber there. Then we're going to be creating the end of the cannon here. So this section, as you can see, it's got a hole in. It's just going to go in like that one side. We're going to put the uh, cable just on the end here. Like that. Then we're going to put the other side on this. That will hold the cable into place. Pushing that together. Then that's just going to go into the end of the cannon. Just like that. Then all we need to do is put the suppressor or the emitter just on the end here, making sure it's following. There's a little notch in there that we can put this in all the way down. So that won't turn now. Once again, almost forgot is put the little clear section there just into the end. I should have checked for that when I opened it, shouldn't I? I'm terrible for that. <laughs> and there we go, that's that in. So what we do, we get the test pack and make sure this lights up. Got the little test box here, so as soon as I plug that in, as you can see, we got a light. Lights up absolutely perfectly. And as I said, I do love that red glow that you can see in there. I'm glad I've kept that in there because uh, I do like that effect. Uh, but that is all there is to do. Issues 48. 49 and 50 completed uh, not sure when the next ones are coming they've been sending five at a time now but uh, i don't know if that's going to go back to normal uh, due to the pandemic finishing or <sighs> there's no end in sight is there anyway listen i hope you like that video as i said we have got a live stream tonight we're going to be looking at the eddie stobart build uh, and we're going to look at some of the other things that are coming on the market at the moment that's going to be at eight o'clock british standard time clocks go back in three weeks in the uk so that will change uh, back to greenwich mean time uh, around about that time uh, but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care